may mas malaki tayong kalaban kaysa mga Amerikano. Ang ating sarili. Walang nakakaangat sa batas kahit pa presidente. Mas madali pang pagkasunduin ng langit at lupa kaysa dalawang Pilipino tungkol sa kahit na anong bagay. Negosyo o kalayaan? Bayan o sarili? Pumili ka! Those are some of the famous lines from the film General Luna, a film that illustrates how power in terms of political circumstances affects our history and the whole Filipino citizens. We already learned about how Rizal used his pen and how Bonifacio raised the flags of Katipuneros, but the story of Luna is not the mainstream of the Philippine history, but we remember through art what we can't recall in our history. Hence, for us, it has a Marxist theme in which every shot has a concrete meaning that creates the context of the film when assembled. This film is directed by Gerald Taro and produced by Articulo Uno Productions. Taro aimed to reconstruct the narrative of the country's history by mixing reality and fiction, with holding the goal of telling the bigger truth to the masses. He is inspired by the book The Rise and Fall of Antonio Luna by Vivincio R. Jose. It is complemented by many because it's an eye-opener which it also mirrors the issues of the society today. Also, the writers wanted to break the stereotype of having historical films as boring and they also wanted to show the masses how flawed our heroes could be as we tend to glorify them. The film Hinera Luna is based from a true-to-life story of the history of the Philippine Revolution during the Philippine-American War. Antonio Luna is the most brilliant soldier who aims to lead his people in a revolution against American colonization. This film highlights the sacrifices and boldness of Hinera Luna in fighting for the rights and freedom of his countrymen in his homeland, yet they treated him unjustly. The belittling and degrading of the higher class from the lower class is being portrayed in the film wherein Luna himself also degrades the normal people but he himself as well experienced being dishonored and mad-mouthed by his co-generals and the high-ranking official. Emilio Aguinaldo even used his power as president to help back his orders and later on one of the culprits in the assassination of the most favored general we have. The script writer of the film, Idrocha, is the proletariat who follows the orders of the bourgeois in writing the script several times to get the right it deserves, where even less than for 18 years for the film to flash on the big screen. By going deeper in this film, it serves as a reminder that we should be mindful in choosing a leader. A leader who has the characteristics of Antonio Luna, a patriotic general who struggles to fight for our rights and freedom, choosing to defend our country and personal interests and from foreign manipulation. Bayan o sarili, pumili ka. General Luna, the movie, depicts the struggle of Antonio Luna in uniting the country against American colonization. This portrays the conflict of Filipinos within themselves as they have different ambitions and goals for themselves and for the country. The movie depicts the natural society versus society scene, which two forms of Marxism present. First is the, the term Articulo Uno was familiarized by the film where General Antonio Luna states that whoever does not follow the orders and violates the Article 1 of the Constitution will be penalized or punished to death. This signifies that the ruling class, General Luna, bourgeoisie, while those being degraded are the normal people, are the proletariat. Second, General Luna was acting under the orders of the higher position officers wherein he also experienced conflicts. This also signifies that higher ranking officials of the bourgeoisie, while General Luna became the proletariat. In the result, General Luna was assassinated by fellow Filipino soldiers 
this this is the result of the unresolved issues as officials also wanted to keep their power and fame in the society. General Luna has been an empowering and eye-opener to the truths and happenings during the Philippine-American War. It reinforces the values of cooperation, peace, and fighting for your beliefs. But do not overwhelm yourself with selfish reasons. With people driven by their selfish intent, it will be hard for us, like how hard it is for General Luna. Our improvement is hampered by individuals blinded by the greed of money, fame, position, or superiority to the point that they become abusive of their power. That's why we must not let our selfishness get a hold of us. Patriotism is also one thing in this film. However, General Luna subverted this as he noted that their love for the country was not enough to die for the country. As he had stated in the film, we have a bigger enemy other than the Americans, which is ourselves. Some are shown to be more loyal to their families and tribes rather than the whole nation. The film intentionally highlighted the aspects of our local culture and politics that are also relatable until this day. We, the young, have a role to play in society. We are the voice in the future. This movie encourages us to seek and be aware of our potential in nation building. We must open our eyes and stop putting greedy leaders who only secure their future generation with their money to the top. We need to open our minds and be wise in choosing altruistic leaders as they are the ones who will lead us as a whole nation. We need our society to change drastically. Many problems we are facing are the same problems that General Luna faced during his days. The corruption, the social clash, disunity, questions on integrity, and service. We deserve to be assured about the future that we are stepping into. We have to change our way of perceiving and responding to issues, and we need to be ready to play whatever role we have in store for us, for the people, and our country. I got my head.